Uh, Brett Scher, Daily Wire. Uh, if you come from the finance world, I was wondering if you could comment on the downward revision yesterday by nearly a million jobs, and then also Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo's claim yesterday that she didn't believe those numbers or hadn't heard of them. Yeah, so I think that in, in fairness, you see this in the corporate world of public companies a lot too. She said she didn't believe them. My read was she didn't actually know about it. So I think Gina Raimondo, the Commerce Secretary, as best I could tell from her commentary, you guys can probably see and arrive at the same judgment, did not know that we had had the largest downward revision of jobs in the United States in 15 years, in a decade and a half. And even she didn't know about it. So I said the people we elect to run the government aren't running the government. The people they're appointing to run those cabinet positions aren't the ones actually running those cabinet positions in those departments either. Now, let's talk about the substance of this. Many of us at the time said that these numbers don't seem credible. You talk to other companies before in the business world, you don't hear about that pace of hiring to match up to the 819,000 or so jobs that were overstated. And yet now we see those numbers downward revised when you actually see the companies with state tax data and payroll data not matching up to the numbers they reported. And, and I do think that the same should fit the other foot. Right? I'm going to attribute this where possible to negligence rather than actual malfeasance. We'll always make the most charitable assumption. I think that that is the most charitable assumption you can make here. But I do think that there should be far greater accountability in the middle of an election where Kamala Harris is the sitting vice president without a fully functioning U.S. president, let's be very honest, that in the middle of that campaign has rolled out not just like different opinions or not just fluff, but straight out raw, you could call it fraudulent numbers, lying to the American people about the success of Bidenomics and Kamalanomics. If the same should fit the other foot, I have no doubt this would be a scandal. This would be something the political press would be all over, and I think there would be accountability and heads would be rolling, including the likes of the people who lead those multiple cabinet, cabinet positions. That's not happening now, and I would encourage yourself, encourage you to ask yourself why. Go there. Can you talk about the Republicans who have been speaking at this DNC over the 